This is the ferry line. Oh my. There's a lot of cars. No, there's not. I don't know how often they leave on Sunday. Now? now we're on the ferry. The area is called Brianza. You have to imagine every corner, every street, all these towns are based around the furniture factory. So this is a district of furniture factory since 100 years. They are family business, <laughs> It's a family company, right? It's still a family company, yes. It's been... Well, my grandfather started the company hundreds of years ago. But then uh, it developed and then the, 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 the sons of my grandfather, they specialized in the topology of transformable furniture. And then they focus only on that since the last 50 years. This is a showroom of furniture, so you have an idea of what a house might look like. So here we have a sofa that, with a double bed. So the idea is it's, it's not a couch bed. I mean, that's no, way, it's but. for every use. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we started to think about what a person that needs to use it every day. The idea is to make a real bed and is to make a real sofa. Uh, here you have, of course, something too. This is a table you can also, for office or for dining, you just pull out this. You have a mechanism to block the, the leg and then you open. And you can have a table for four person or an office. I'll show you this. So this is a, a kitchen. You have, a, you have a 1 meter 20 for cooking, washing. And here you have an extra space uh, to prepare. The good things is that uh, you can, uh, in daytime, or when you don't need a kitchen, you can close this. And uh, you have everything hidden and compact uh, in 1 meter 20. If you have a very narrow wall, you can have uh, a small kitchen. It's like the size of a big refrigerator. Yeah, it's a big refrigerator. It's like a book. You open it, release the kitchen, and uh, like this, a working space of uh, the same width. So you have a 2 meters 40 space, working space in a corner. So you can also use the, this, this part of the kitchen as a place to, to communicate with the dining table or as a bar. Here we have the refrigerator. We have the dishwasher, and the microwave. Okay. Okay. So that's and the part over. of the furniture that you don't move because you have like pipes. Exactly. Exactly. So this is something that you could buy as you would buy a refrigerator. You just buy the unit. Exactly. You can also open this when the kitchen is closed. So you can use a place to leave uh, objects. So in case you can use also this uh, during the day, that's the table. You can pull it up and close it to, to release some space. Then you can uh, release it. And then behind here there is a bed, also electric one. So. The concept of the company is house in motion. So we have more than 150 transformable units. So you have the engine uh, that is uh, hidden in the upright. So you can have an easy access by removing these panels. Of course, all these mechanisms are coming with a manual version. Certain things that are very necessary, like uh, in New York, if you have a small apartment, uh, half of the space is taken from the bed. So if you don't have a solution that allows you to hide the bed, you have half of the square feet. This is maybe for guests. It's like a TV, and you just have, in this case, an extra bed for guests. And the TV just stays on the entire time? Well, actually, you can also watch the TV while you're in bed. You just move this. 
So. Did you have anything like this as a kid? I've been growing up with this because my father started to do this in the late 60s, beginning of 70s. I've been growing up uh, with a bed that you turn and you pull down. Those things always exist also in the States, the Murphy bed. The idea was to improve the design. What it was identified it was the functionality, but also the ugliness. <laughs> so one part for sure, the technology helps uh, to make the mechanism smooth, but also the, the design of the exteriors is very, very important. Because uh, if we want to do it for every house, uh, it has to be on a certain level. So this is just a bookshelf. You can place objects, books, and also here there is a bed hidden, but with a different concept. The mechanism is a pivotal mechanism, so also you, you don't have to remove anything, and then uh, on the other side, there is a bed coming down. And here you have a, a small night table. This is a very old typology from the company. They are producing it since at least 45 years. And the mechanism hasn't been changed at all. The, the mechanism is a very simple track. Was this something that you did? Or was My father did. Hello. Here, for example, the comodo. My father has been the first to develop the sofa attached to a Murphy bed. Two people sit on one tranquilamente. And who is it that sits Because before there were only Murphy bed, we no second function, just a wall to hide the bed. So he started to say, why to lose the space? So. We started with the sofa, and, and from then uh, th we developed. Uh, before it was a sofa that it was more like that, and then the, the sofa became a real sofa. Then we created the corner. Then we went more towards uh, the idea of uh, design and interior, just not just giving a solution to problems or to lack of space. So that's how the company and the, the entire concept of transformable design is going. This is wall. This is concrete. But there is a uh, something hidden, so we have uh, two single bed coming down like a bunk bed, and here is a single one. This is just to show how it's possible to integrate uh, functions into architecture. So this is more a wall, a technical wall, than a furniture. It can be manual, it can be electric. There is an extra battery inside, so if the electricity goes off, it allows you to open the bed and close it and to go to sleep. Is there more? Yes. <laughs> the best is to count. This is a, like a, a small unit. Yeah. How, how can a small unit can transform into different things? So this is more like a small apartment. In case you want to have an extra room, All the things we have seen until now, they are somehow related to what I can do on the walls. And here we have an extra element that uh, is uh, related more to what I can do to the space. So by moving this wall, I have uh, an extra room that I can open and close when I want. And here I have uh, an office, so I can work at home, having my corner. Or in case uh, I, I have children or I have guests from time to time, I can uh, use it as a double bed. This is a two meter stand desk. You don't have to remove uh, your stuff from it. And uh, you have a second bed here. The barrier and uh, the leather. These barriers are great because they feel really soft with a cushion, but yeah. they're not. Here there is a, a button that you that you have to press to so lock and unlock. You have the lighting here. If you have the bed open and you have to redo the bed, you just push here and it's getting more comfortable. To make the bed? To make the bed, absolutely. So in two meters you have two bed and one desk. And the bed, of course, are always ready to be used. 
So when you were a kid, your father hadn't made a bunk bed yet? Was... No, he did. He did, but it was different. I mean, he had metal part visible. It was more basic, but the concept is, didn't change. This little tool does everything. Open it, close it, and it allows you to place the bed in the other function. So To make the bed as well? Yeah, okay. exactly. Desk is still, you could have your computer there. Yes. Okay. You make the beds and get back to work. Yeah, <laughs> but it's because you have to imagine the space for, especially if you use this for a children's bedroom, yeah. the children have all the space available to play. And here you can put your clothes. So the idea is we're changing our idea of furniture, moving and opening up. Yeah, the, the furniture is to conceive, to, to use every uh, square centimeters of the space. Because if there is a, the possibility to do that and to give extra function, it's uh, something added to your life quality. And objects, of course, that has to be free because when the wall closed, this uh, is going inside. So you don't have uh, to leave objects here. You can, you can leave objects there, but they don't have to stick out. So you have, you have always to keep some things in mind. Here we have uh, an example of how a real apartment uh, it could be. So like the other models, this uh, is a sofa that can become a bed. It's a bit higher than a normal bed because the sofa stays underneath. Ah, okay. The springs are hidden in, the, in this profile. So that's an example of how to use technology to allow you not to see anything because you don't want to see when you sleep something aside of your pillow. So everything is hidden and you can regulate the, the strength of the spring. I mean, accor according to how much weight you want to put on the shelf, shelves, because also on the shelf you don't have to remove anything. You leave your books, you don't have to remove everything because this is always stays parallel to the floor. Then you have a normal sofa, and uh, here you have a table that you can just open, so you can just leave it attached to the wall. Four person can eat here, or you can use it as an office. In case you want to have an extra, extra person, you just take it out and just move it in the middle of the room. So you six. So you have six places, and you can put the folding chair back here. You can place them inside here. Okay. How does that... Does it... You just pull it out and okay. block it. Okay. It's, it's just a concept how to use the, the space in a most uh, clever way. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of that the future is more looking at creating rooms rather than just furniture. Well, the cities now, the young people want to live in the place where they're working. So the cities uh, are building with uh, less square meters. And this idea is not strictly related to the micro unit or to the lack of space or to a problem. If you have uh, 10 rooms, why not to have an 11th room? Very simple concept, but why do you use uh, a space only eight hours a day when you can use it 24 hours a day by just changing the function that you need? This is a table, very simple concept doesn't take away too much space. You can leave here uh, your cable coming out so you can put a TV on top or you can, you can leave your computer here and then close everything so you can uh, adapt it in, in every room. The concept is just to hide the, the leg. That's about the project because uh, you don't want to see a big gap uh, where the leg uh, is folded. So the leg in this case uh, is just coming up and then goes inside here. So. No, the grandfather was 
1907. Oh. So really more than 100 years so ago. Where did he start? He started actually there, on the other side of the street. So the furniture culture here is, I think, one of the most important districts in the world. In the 60s, there was also the culture of design, because before the war, it was a more handcraft culture. And most of the companies that are doing what you see now in magazines still are coming from this part. That's my father. No. Yeah. He's the creator of... Uh, he's the inventor. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Nico. Does he want to say anything? This is about how we got the idea, no? He came up, he was the first one to sort of make a sofa and a bed. Yeah. And, and that, did, how did he come up with that idea? That, that... The first added function to the folding bed was the table. And then he said, why not to add also something maybe more necessary as a sofa so I can use it as a living room. It was not easy at the beginning because the, the sofa has to somehow go down together with the movement of the bed. So oh, that's how it started. He can be happy. You can tell him he can be happy that <laughs> no, I say that everybody's copying us. <laughs> you simply pull down two fingers and it has this really cool weighted shelf so you can literally have candles on top. That becomes the support. You have a lot of followers in the US, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, especially to research furniture. And you go like so. We are the world leader of transformable furniture. We are doing this job since the last 50 years. And the bed actually stays in place. And now you can bring the bed down. And again, everything works with your fingertips with a little bit of pressure on the desk, down comes your bed. So here you have a seven foot desk, everything remains on the desk and it's all hydraulically assisted. And so the, the idea of the up. company is to put the level of technology higher than the rest of the market. We are the Mercedes Benz of this transform, or Ferrari I would say. <laughs> Here are solutions for children's bedroom. They need to study. <laughs> and here you have a desk of two meters. You don't have to remove the objects. You just pull it up. Yeah, that's more for grown up. But of course you can, this is the height. And this one you can see the, the hydraulic. Yes, this is in fact is an old model. But we are no. it's still on the market, yes. Yeah. One sleeping space, relaxing space. You can make different function and without uh, making compromise for the design. That's the idea of the company, to make good design supported by good um, technology, to make the movement uh, easy to be used and to give solution to people. Because you think the concept of house uh, coming from the 19th century, a sort of separation of all the uses as maybe spaces need to also... Well, it's not that I think it's a reality. That's what the market says, that's what uh, the data says. The fact uh, that there are more single than families, the fact that uh, the space has to evolve according to the evolution of the user. The family, the children are living in the flat, uh, becomes an empty nester space. Some people think that when they have things that hide and they did that they may uh, sacrifice a little bit of comfort. What's your opinion on it? No, it's not absolutely true because those beds are normal bed. The mattress thickness is the same of a standard mattress. You have a normal slate and uh, you, you can close the bed with the bed down or the bed undone. I sometimes don't do the bed and just <laughs> close it. 
I do it every morning with this model. It takes 10 seconds, the room is completely changing, and you have a space to do the second function of the day. You have like integrated life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's comfortable because if you study here, and also when you sleep, you, you can need this light. Because this element can also be extended up to here, so you have really a full wardrobe, and you don't need anything more. If not using the floor during the day to let your child play football like mine used to do in his bedroom, because that's the furniture we used, and uh, you have all the space free. So. Do you know what this is? No. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. You can lay down. Let's <laughs> sit down. The aim is to use uh, less time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, do you think you could push it back up? Okay. So first, maybe the. What's yeah, the? the head. Do you want to explain? Yeah. Oh. oh. That's a headboard. Oh, she figured it out. Yeah. We have introduced electric system, motorized system, but also for the manual one, the closing and opening movement has to be smooth and a child should be able to do it. Is this supposed to be a desk? Yeah. And here you have a, a table if this time. If you think about the kitchen, I was already taking the space of the living room. So to have a kitchen living room is not a crime anymore, even for high-end uh, apartments. This is going in this direction. I mean, we don't want to separate the function. It's very simple concept. You could be over there. Yeah. We're cooking in here. Yeah, you can prepare the food. Okay. You can prepare for both sides, or yeah, I can take uh, the ready plates from here and put it directly on the table. So it's, here there is not high technology, it's just yeah. an, a good idea. But, but it's the same thing with the Swiss Army knife. I mean, it's not high technology, but the Swiss Army knife, but suddenly it affords you a lot of things in one small yeah. package. Yeah. This model is uh, simpler than the other one, has uh, some less function. As a normal microwave, doesn't have the washing machine, so it's cheaper. Here you have uh, something to dry. A drying rack. Oh, that's yeah, great. Oh, great, because you don't have dishwasher, so you do that. Right. Yeah, and this allows you to lower the price. The use of technology, of high technology, is important for us to define our brand, but also the other way, it has to be used uh, really with care, and otherwise the price is really running out of your hand. And uh, then uh, if it's uh, too expensive, they say, yes, it's nice, but uh, I won't buy it. <laughs> so. There is always space to make the things uh, better. My father is still thinking about all new things every time. This is the bed, but here you have the furniture, so you have a cabinet you can use.